Tech the Barbarian here. Welcome back to another U-Haul camping adventure. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going chill. I'm not gonna sneak in anywhere. I'm not gonna do anything against the rules today. I'm not sure if you guys have seen my last video or not, but I'd uh, reference that. Gotta make sure I don't go off the road. This is deep, this is really deep. It's up at the door. And in Houston in general, it's just been getting absolutely pummeled with all kinds of crazy weather and stuff. Destructive winds. Windows blown out. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Across downtown, trees crush homes and cars. Electrical towers toppled. <laughs> Power knocked down for hundreds of thousands. I need to relax and I figured, you know what, now that we finally got sunlight, it's up in the 90s. What better time to do an air conditioning test? We're gonna try to see if we can run air conditioning, or at least to what extent can you run air conditioning on a portable battery pack. I've got a Blue Eddy AC240 with me today. We're going camping up in Lake Livingston outside of Houston. I'll be there in about 40 minutes. And once we get there, we're gonna get set up. We're gonna get some air conditioning going and uh, we'll look and see what happens. So I'll see you guys there. All right, well now we can get on with the experiment of the day and that is of course our air conditioning test. I'm gonna go outside, we're gonna hook up the Blue Eddy to the AC input to the inverter itself. So basically the Blue Eddy is gonna be acting like shore power. And at that point, the inverter is gonna run everything off of the Blue Eddy, which includes the air conditioning, the refrigerator, and all that stuff. We're just gonna see how far we can get on a full charge of the Blue Eddy. It is very hot out today. We were, we were in the 90s today, so we're still fighting an uphill battle in getting this thing cooled down. And of course, probably the most important time to get cooled down is overnight as you're trying to sleep. So you can at least, you know, fall asleep and be comfortable. So hoping that we can run the air conditioning the majority of the night. 
Let's find out. Whoops, yeah, I gotta change that because it's charging the batteries right now.
much to use. Never done this before. It's pretty good. Should we take a look at the Blue Eddy, see where that's at? 4%. We're about to cut back over to battery. So, what's the verdict on running air conditioning on the Blue 80 AC240 with the B210 expandable battery pack? You absolutely can, for uh, extended durations of time as well. There are a lot of variables involved when you're talking about batteries and running air conditioners and other loads. I'm using a 6000 BTU residential window unit that draws about 550 to 600 watts. Running that alone, I mean, you can run the math on that. If you wanted to run that by yourself, you can absolutely run that for several hours with something like a Blue Eddy. But I was also running a whole bunch of other loads. My favorite go-to number one all around hot sauce. This is Arizona Gunslinger, red jalapeno, standard red jalapeno. Now, the great thing about that Blue Eddy is that it has the 30 amp RV connector on there. So it's ready to go anytime you want to use it for your RV or your boat or whatever else takes that plug. We were running the refrigerator, microwaves, induction cooktops, TV. I had the sound bar going the whole time. You guys couldn't hear that. And of course, the air conditioning. And we were running that for about four hours. The other thing about that is that the air conditioner was on constantly. I had it on full blast, which means that the condenser never turns off. If you're doing eco mode or some kind of variable inverter air conditioner that's more efficient than the window units, which a lot of them are, this one is about three years old, there is definitely more efficient units out there. Basically what I'm saying is I could have pressed the eco mode on my air conditioner and then it would have cycled the compressor or the condenser on and off over time to basically give me double the runtime. So hypothetically, if I wanted to run nothing but that air conditioner on that Blue Eddy system that I have now, I could run that all night long while I'm sleeping and it would come on and off intermittently throughout the night every five or 10 minutes for five or 10 minutes. Just the air conditioner, I give it four hours, full compressor runtime. If you want to do an overnight thing where you have on and off condenser, you can absolutely get at least double that. So you're looking at, you know, six, seven, eight hours of runtime on that.
just the Blue Eddy alone. I actually like the Blue Eddy system so much that it's got me rethinking how I'm going to be doing power in my next build. Planning out my client build right now. We're going over the specs, getting 3D designs finalized, but I think we're going to do a hybrid system where we do have onboard batteries, but we also have a modular component where the Blue Eddy or some other kind of portable system can be taken in and out of the truck. And instead of having a, an external plug for your 30 amp connection to shore power that you typically have in an RV, I'm actually thinking about having an internal one. I'm speaking, you know, in terms of hypothetical for my build as well, I'm thinking about making a modification to where I can roll the Blue Eddy system in underneath. I've got a lot of room down there still. I can have an, another 30 amp inlet down there and just plug it in. So I instantly, you know, increase my power capacity by 30%. So I think there's a lot of potential there for that to be used internally, not just as an external whole power system, but also modularly inside your truck or van as well. And look, see that? It's metal. It's a metal fork. I had one in here the whole time, I just wasn't using it. If you guys want to know more about batteries and air conditioning in tiny homes, feel free to go join my private community, technobarbarian.locals.com. You can ask me all sorts of questions over there and join my community of box truck enthusiasts. If you want to snag your own Blue Eddy, you can use code TECHNOAC240 at checkout. I'll have a link in the description below. That'll get you 100 bucks off through May 31st. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you on the next one. This, uh... This e-bike has like a lock feature so I can take that down and anyway the whole build probably in materials was six